hello everyone you are welcome here we have a very interesting geometry math problem we have given a circle and there is a triangle inside the circle which has three sides the triangle is triangle abc having three sides the base is 14 this is 15 and this is 13 meters now what we have to find we have to find the radius of this circle now how can we find this radius first of all here we will draw a perpendicular point from point C to segment AB to make right angle triangles here. So let us suppose draw a perpendicular form point C to this line segment AB. Now let us suppose this is point D. Now this is a right angle triangle ACD and this is also a right angle triangle CDB. Now this AB is 14 years. So let us suppose this AD is X. So what will be the length of DB? This will be 14 minus X. So this length DB will be 14 minus X units. Now let us suppose this height, this perpendicular is equal to H. Now here we will try to find out the area of this triangle ACD. Now here we will use the Pythagoras theorem and we will find the area of this first one triangle. So the Pythagoras theorem states that the hypotenuse square is equal to perpendicular square plus base square. Now here our hypotenuse is 13 units. Our base is x units and our perpendicular is h. So this will become hypotenuse is 13 so this will become 13 square is equal to perpendicular is h so this will become h square plus base is x square now here we move this x square to the left hand side so this will become h square is equal to 13 square is simply 169 minus x square so let us suppose this is our equation number first now here we will try to find out the area of this second right angle triangle cdb now here our base is 14 minus x, our perpendicular is h and our hypotenuse is 15 units. So using Pythagoras theorem, we can find out the area of this as again hypotenuse is 15 square. So this will become 15 square is equal to perpendicular square that is h square plus base square. Base is 14 minus x whole square. Now here we will expand this 14 minus x square using a minus b whole square identity so this will become 15 square is simply 225 plus h square will be the same now this will become a square plus b square minus 2 times a b so 14 square now what is the value of 14 square it is simply 196 plus x square minus 2 times 14 x so 2 times 14 is 28 and x will be the same here we will move these three numbers to the left hand side so h square will become this is 225 minus 196 now what will it give him it gives him 29 this will become positive 28x and this will become negative x square so let us suppose this is our equation number second now look at two equation number first and equation number second both have the same left hand side so here we will compare the right hand sides so from here we will get this implies the left hand side of equation number first is 169 minus x square and the right hand side of equation number second is 29 plus 28x minus x square. Look at both equations there is x square in both sides so we will cancel them with each other. Now here we will move this 29 to the left hand side so this 28x will become 28x is equal to 169 minus 29 is, is about 144. We will divide both sides by 28. This 28 and this 28 will be cancelled. So x is equal to now dividing 144 by 28, it gives them about 5. So here the length of this x will be 5 units. Now we have to find out the value of this height h perpendicular. But it will substitute this value of x in equation number first. That is h square is equal to 169 minus x square. So equation number first implies that is h square is equal to 169 minus x square and x is 5 so 5 square is simply 25 this will become h square is 
by subtraction it gives him 144 we will take square root over both sides so this will become the value of it will become it is 12 so here our height is 12 units now what we will do our next step here this is 12 units now next we will connect this point c with point this one let us suppose this is point e to draw a diameter which is passes to the center so here we will connect this point c with point e and we will also connect this point e with point b now to find out the radius here we will connect this point c with point e the line will be passed through the center o and this will be a diameter and we will also connect this point e with point b now here we will use a result Taylor's theorem Taylor's theorem states that if we have three distinct points on a circle and if two points make a diameter of the circle then this then these three points will make a right angle triangle so here this c e is a diameter so here this will make a right angle triangle where this angle at point b will be a right angle triangle 90 degree now here in this step again we will use another result that is if we have two triangle inside a circle and both the triangle have the same external or same external intercept points so the angle opposite to that arc will be same congruent now look at to the triangle c a b this is an arc c b and look to this triangle C E B. This have the same common R. So here the angle C A B and C E B will must be congruent. So let us suppose this is an angle alpha, and this is also an angle alpha because they are congruent, the same. Now using the congruency of triangles, if a triangle have two angles same, then then this triangle must be congruent. So here the angle C A B and C E B must be congruent to each other. So here the ratio of C E divided by C B C will be equal to the ratio of A C divided by C D. I have substitute the values from here. We have to find out the value of C E. B C is here 15 units, A C is 13 units and CD are 12 units so this will become we have to find out the value of CE where BC is 15 units AC is 13 and CD is 12 here we move this number to the right hand side so CE will become this will become 13 by 12 multiply 15 now if we simplify this right hand side so this gives him the value of c which is our diameter this will give him about 16.25 units now this is our diameter since we have to find out the value of radius so here we will divide this by 2 so the value of radius will become dividing this by 2 it gives him 8.125 so finally our radius is 8.125 units so here we will write this value here this is our radius oe so this radius will become 8.125 units so this is our required target